Hey, 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 hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to set up lattices inside of water dough so that way you can be able to do some really funny deformations in your VTubing setup. Now, you may be wondering what the frick are lattices. Well, lattices. If you've ever seen a live 2D model before and you've seen how they have something called deformers, lattices are literally live 2D deformers, although the lattices actually came first then live 2D lattices. But either way, uh, lattices have always been a thing in Blender and even Maya, I believe, as well. But just recently, someone made a plugin for Unity and now Wadudo added that to their program. Now. Some example use cases you can use lattices for are, let's say for example, I want to have it where when an anvil hits my head, I want my head to be crushed. Or let's say for example, I want it where every time I eat a food, my belly can actually get bigger. Or let's say maybe if you really want to emulate live 2D breathing where your arms even move as well if you really want, you can technically do that. Um, again, for live 2D breathing, I personally recommend like using character blend shapes in that case not lattices but all power to you though uh but you can do that and you can also do things like funny twitter videos or something like that there's a lot of things you could do with lattices and it's all up to you and your imagination but i'll be going over the basics so you understand so we're gonna go ahead and press on add asset here scroll all the way down to miscellaneous then go over to lattice deformer here and then what you're going to do is that you'll scroll out and you'll see this box right here on the center of the world that is your lattice and it is a square a cube not a square cube square is 2d but um it's right there and what you're going to do is first figure out what are you gonna do with this lattice are you gonna breathe with it is are you gonna make your stomach giant with this are you gonna crush your head? Are you, are you gonna crush your mere existence of your entire like model? Like what are you gonna do with it? For my case, I want to make a head crush redeem for this tutorial. So I'm gonna go and click on here transform attachment and again This is not exclusive to characters. This can work with prop and many other things that you want um, So whatever is available on the list depending on what you have in your scene you just click on that um well, actually, um, over here, you can attach it to your prop or attach it to your character. For my case, I want to attach it to my head bone, so I'm attaching it to character. You can attach this to your spine and other stuff if you want. Um, but for my case, again, I'm using character. I want this on my head. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to scale this by pressing the R button. Uh, again, W is for moving. E is for rotating and R is for scaling. That's Unity's, that's how Unity does it. So you'll click on this middle part here, click and drag until you scale it. That's if you want to use that. Press W and I'm gonna move that upward like so. There you go. Uh, you may also want to do some correction with it as well. I recommend not doing this when your character is being tracked. Uh, make sure your character's staying still. You'll probably get some more better results with it and then you can make your character move and then what you're going to do is that um fyi before i continue in order to hide the lattice just deselect it just deselect it to hide it that way your audience ain't gonna see that um but you're gonna click on this and then what you're gonna do is go over to deformation what you're doing here is you're telling wadudo what asset am i going to be deforming so click on the add element here and then click on this little tiny arrow here the asset we'll be having is character but if you want as prop you select prop and such but you put whatever asset you want deformed there there may be certain assets that you can't use lattice on for example lights you can't do that to a poor light um so just keep that in mind there may be some things you can't use uh lattices on but for characters and props you should be able to uh, and then what you're going to do is that on um, deform all meshes, I'm going to leave this on for this tutorial, but if you are very particular on how, like, what objects on your character will get the squish, uh, or, you know, the effect, then I heavily recommend going to Blender, making sure that you split your model into as many groups as you personally want, and making sure that, you know, you have those game objects made, um, like your model split into different objects in Blender, X squared FBX, convert to VRM, or Wadu Avatar, whichever, but you make sure that you separate your 
stuff and you can assign it here manually so I can assign like multiple uh, like let's say I want my head and I want let's say a certain like my hat or something to have defor like, to deform but everything else doesn't again depending on what you're trying to go for you may not have perfect results which might end up being better if you do uh Act, like actual like FBX blend shapes there may be some things like for example live TV breathing I personally use just normal FBX blend shapes for that but again I can only give you as much knowledge as I can in this video it's really just up to you on what the heck you're trying to do but I'll leave that to deform all meshes and over here in resolution this is talking about the amount of vertices that you will be using for control keep in mind though that the more vertices you do add uh, while it does give more precision, it can also be kind of a hassle to adjust and all that. So I recommend, depending on what you're trying to go for, go as the small amount of vertices that you need. Like, the amount that you need. Um, you may even have it, again, like, two by two. This can work, but it may be a bit too little for your case. Um, so I'm going to say for my case, since I just want to do head crush, I'm going to set the X and Y to four by four. Like, so this is a pretty decent amount. Uh, but again, you may need more depending on how much you're inf trying to influence. But, um, just keep in mind X is referring to left and right or across. Y is up and down. And then Z is back and forth. Keep that in mind. Now. That you have that you can set this to high quality if you ever experience lag with the liases so you could set this to no if you want otherwise i'll leave it as to high quality because why not you could set this to global if you want everything else uh affected by the lattice i personally will just not do that but if you want to you can and then over here under blend shapes um there will be you know again a blend shape here that you can make um so think of it again like i mentioned um like again like what i mentioned about the live 2d breathing thing if you're trying to emulate that it's kind of why i recommended fbx blend shape but um it's pretty much treated as a blend shape so there is a value slider you're moving these vertices these are vertices so it would make sense that vertices to control them you can use freaking blend shape i i, I don't know just just bear with me it, it makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and name this head crush and then i'm going to click on edit blend shape while you're on this window this will allow you to select the individual vertices here and of course do remember that the instructions on how to edit the last is always there it will never go away it's always there to remind you but pretty much um you can left click in order to select the vertices you can hold the shift key on your keyboard and click so you can select on multiple ones as you can see and again i'm doing right click to kind of like rotate around my character um just letting you know but over here and then i can use the arrow uh the little arrow gizmo to crush my head uh and of course you could do w to do the movement or you can press on e in order to rotate if you so desire the scale option for the lattices i haven't gotten it to work but it did mention having the ability to scale i'm not sure what's up with that but uh if that ever gets fixed or something i don't know but either way i usually just do movement and rotation really with with this so it's all good um, and you can, of course, do Control z and Control y to undo and redo. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, there you go. And you can do really, really silly stuff. As you can see, my head looks like mashed potatoes. Alright. So, once you have that, you could also rotate by last handle if you want. Which allows, like, um, pretty much, like anchoring it's a different kind of anchoring so if you're going to be rotating and you're selecting uh multiple ones you can have it like it's just a, it's just another thing for like anchoring depending on your preference which you can toggle by pressing the p button but i haven't really used this option but it's there if needed you know kind of just up to you but it's just another way of like if you need some more control on anchoring but once you have that and you set up your vertices on the last to how you want it, what you're going to then do is click on OK. And then it is now a blend shape. 
you yay pretty much um which again is really convenient like again if you want extra extra precision i recommend using like fbx uh blend shapes let's say again for like chest breathing and stuff that's what i do but for the most part if you're doing something like head crush or certain like if you want to keep it like very simple and you don't want to have to like oh add it to every single model and such depending on what you're going for then yes you can try lattices but again it really just depends what you're trying to go for at the end of the day sometimes fbx blend shape might be better for you and lattices might actually be more better or convenient for you depending on what you're going for but i see lattice is pretty cool for things like head crush redeem so yay all right so once you have that uh what you're going to then do i'm going to just leave that at zero and then i'm going to deselect it let's go ahead and actually turn this into a redeem so we're going to go over to blueprints right here we're going to click here to add blueprint and then i'm going to rename this blueprint and we're going to name this to head crush redeem press on ok and what we're going to do we're going to start off with a twitch redeem and then i'll show you the youtube equivalents of this so what you're going to do is you're going to type twitch and then you're going to find the one let's say a channel point so we want let's see here twitch message channel subscribe channel points redeem this is what we want and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in if branch which is conditions so if is true and we need to have a condition of what is the name of this redeem. So string contains, connect the exit to enter. The reward title is going to be connected like this, and it's going to be head crush. So if a channel point redeem is named head crush, and whether it's ignoring the case or not, but for this case, it doesn't, you know, for this case, I'm having it where it doesn't ignore it. But either way, if the redeem is named head crush, if this is true, what are we going to do? So let's make this into a timed redeem where it will be five seconds where the, um, the blend ship will trigger the lattice. So we're going to use set asset property. Set asset property is literally going to be the node you're going to be abusing so much because this thing will allow you to manipulate anything in the asset panel. I'm not kidding. So if it's true, we're going to put here uh, lattice deformer and we're going to click here and we're going to find the one that has blend shape list, uh, which for this case, we're looking for the value. Again, keep in mind that as you add more blend shapes here, they are counted by zero so this blend shape here head crush is zero and this one being one zero one two and so on so keep that in mind i'm also going to go ahead and rename this asset to head crush here um lattice like that go back to blueprints here so we're gonna have it where the value will be set to one and we're setting the transition time to 0.3 uh, 0.3 seconds you can have the transition easing if you want it could be really nice if you're trying to do something like let's say if a bat were to hit your head and you want to have a bit of like you know an interpolation with it you can experiment um the pet you know just experiment and see if it's to your liking but once you have that uh you can then go ahead i'm also going to deselect the lies here you're gonna go over here we're gonna type in delay Delay control flow, this is our timer. We're gonna have it where it's going to last for five seconds. And then I'm gonna click on this, control C, control V. So control C is to copy, control V is to paste. Go ahead and put this together like this. And then when you copy and paste, um, just make sure that the value is set to zero and you can have the transition time back to 0.3. And what you can do in order to test this is that you're going to press on the enter button. And then it's going to do a little head crush, as you can see. And it will last for five seconds before it turns off. And again, you can also use this for other stuff as well. Let's say, for example, I'm going to go to add asset here. Um, let's say we have a prop. I'm going to go ahead over to this list and let's say... I don't know. I want it where a coconut hits my head or something. I'm just showing you an example with a prop. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead, call this coconut. 
and I want it where the coconut just randomly just appears. So I'm going to attach this to my character's head, for example. Uh, do that. I don't know. I'm just, just being a little silly right now. And then we'll just have that. It will be off. And then blueprints here. We can have it where t multiple things happen at the same time. So I could probably add a sequence. Uh, sequence is allowing you to um, have it where two things or more than one thing can happen at the exact same time. Um, depending on what you're going for, you may not always need sequence, but just so it's easier for your brain cells and my brain cells, we're using sequence. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do set asset property. And we're going to have it where it's going to be the coconut prop where it's going to just activate it. So again, I went over this in my prop uh, tutorial for redeems. If I'm pretty much just putting it in this one just to give another example of what you can do. So uh, there you go. We'll just have that. I'm going to go ahead and control C and control V. And then control C and control V at the delay control flow. Do that. There you go. Connect it like so. Five seconds. Going to enable and then set that to no. And then just press on sequence here for instance. And oh no. She got hit with a coconut, literally. So, yeah. Um. So there you go. That's pretty much how you can do it with a prop as well. I kind of guess. I mean, there's still a lot more you can do. I'm just giving you guys ideas. It's really up to you on how you can use this knowledge. But you can do a lot more insane things than this tutorial can show you. And just to show you for the YouTube equivalent, what we're going to then do is do YouTube. Um, which for my case, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually duplicate this. Uh, the only difference in your case uh, will actually be that the Twitch node here is not going to be Twitch. It's going to be YouTube. And you're going to have it, let's say, chat receive. And then the message is going to be exclamation mark um, crush. Let's say that. And then the message has to have only just this. So exclamation mark crush. If that's true then it will literally do this if you want uh again if you want to do like a loyalty point system with the youtube thing again use streamer bot for that i don't have an exact 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 tutorial for that but you will have to use something like streamer bot or uh or a different bot even it really depends on your preference or uh mix it up like you'll have to do web socket stuff for that uh which for streamer bot users i've made a tutorial about i'll leave in the description below um for your convenience and the tutorial that goes over like if you really want extra info on loyalty points can do that but otherwise that's a uh, pretty much it in terms of like making it into a redeem as you can see and just doing a silly haha but I hope that this tutorial has been a bit educational regarding the lattices and kind of gain the idea of how you can use it, at least for a starting point. Again, there's so much more you can do, but you will have to apply the knowledge that I'm giving you to this specific situation. If there is like very more specific examples you need me to make a tutorial about, then feel free to let me know. Um, depends on the demand for that specific request, but otherwise, I hope that you learn lattices, use it well, and have a lovely day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!